Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Another fun day here is trash picking day once again. I think it's going to be better weather today as well. Not like the last time I went to this town where it was all rainy and misty and the whole video was kind of a blur. So, Salsa, come here. Here comes Queen Salsa. You want a meatball? Dropping crumbs everywhere. You dropped a crumb. No, no. All right. That's, that's salsa. This is taco stacks. And let's go trash picking. Should be another fun day. Let's try to find some treasure and make this a good one. Let's do it. Early morning lamp. Grab a heater. Heater and a lamp. It's a nice shelf. Already painted. It'll be an easy sell. Very nice. Get ourselves a lawnmower made by a weed eater. I know weed eater makes some really cheap weed eaters. That's not just play on words, that's the truth. Good throw. Hopefully I didn't break. I don't think it broke. It might have broke. Who knows? This guy might roll around a lot. All right. Okay, so finally the sun's starting to come up a little bit. Uh, people have asked me, so this is where the uh, the guy who gave me all the uh, the stuff is or was. I can see the house is no longer in service because there's been a dresser on the back porch there in the same spot for I don't know how long, a month now. That's where the guy used to live. I know a couple people commented about that one house that had the uh, foreclosure sign on it or abandoned or whatever it was, if that was where that guy lived. But no, that was the guy who gave me all the stuff. Um, but it looks like we beat the garbage truck kind of to this side. I went down, what, two streets now? Ooh, what's that? It's like just a small lamp, but I'm gonna grab that. Sometimes these are brass, this one's not. But we have some wire here. Take out the socket. It's pretty much all wood. But I'll rescue it. This is kind of cool. Wonder if that's brass. It is. And all those, all these things are also. That's got to be. Well, what's the biggest issue here? Oh, I got to take off all this glass. 
It's not, it doesn't look too bad. This one's really cool. Really, really nice. That's gonna be fun to listen to for the next two hours. stuff is smells awful that's wood gotta get that fan might be able to pull out that vacuum cleaner it's like a terracotta fan I don't even know if that makes sense it doesn't really make sense I think terracotta was a uh, a Pyrex print. For some reason, this is reminding me of it. Uh, let's see if there's any junk down here. There's a lot of stuff. Just planters, fake Christmas tree, light bulbs. What's this? Press board. See, I can't put that this way because that's someone's driveway. I'll grab Mr. Reindeer and this tomato tomato plant holder, crate cage, tomato cage. I think that's what it is, a tomato cage. That's what they're called for tomato plants. This guy's a reindeer. I'll be able to catch him. Maybe I'll be able to catch him on the left here. Nope. Went around that corner too quick. Another scrapper out and about. Uh, I just cruised through about two thirds of town. What you see is what I saw. Oh, yeah, a nice vintage drop leaf table over here on the right. Let's see that. Let's go inspect it. Let's see how good it is guys have been following for the channel you guys already know a deal with drop leaf tables if you haven't been following the channel for a while don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and check out my other videos binge watch them a bunch of great content out and a bunch of great videos and great things we found in the past most drop leaf tables are actually wood this one's more like the formica style yeah it's kind of cool yeah buddy oh buddy I mean, you got some staining. I think we're going to have to grab it, folks. find vintage everywhere around here because this is just like what people have in their house just because they never updated for the most part
unfortunately what's in demand is not vintage in terms of like mid-century stuff around here that's more of a city a city thing I think this is just too cool not to show uh, can't use it anyway it's got a big hole in it Speaking of vintage, it had snow on it and it hasn't snowed in a while, so it's either been out for a really long time or it was just used outside. All right, as you see, trash truck, garbage truck, but they're not going to beat me to trash alley. over here it looks like oh that might be some aluminum we'll stop we'll go back there try grab that minutes away from going to a landfill uh, it's it's iron but it's still gonna be recycled Speaking of iron, iron prices actually went up another 50 cents for every 100 pounds. So it's at $4.50 for every 100 pounds. So it's going up, it's going back up. Look at that vintage couch. I think this person's moving out or something. This is awesome. I think this is a tray. Oh, it's not a, it's like a tray. For uh, maybe it is a picture frame. TV tray that you put in bed? I have no idea. It can be There's no backing that would make it a frame. Alrighty, everyone, back on this busy road, back with some treasure. As always, always a fun blast, always a blast, and always fun. The old fun blast added to the Taco Stacks dictionary. It was a great day out there. So we got these nice chandeliers. This one's a little bit nicer. Oh, buddy, don't want to lose that. So I don't know if this this one doesn't look like it's brass. This one looks like it's iron because I can see it's pitting pretty well. Um, this one is brass. I've scrapped some of these in the past. And generally something like this, I'll probably get like, if it's dirty brass, maybe like three to four bucks. If I clean it and take off all the glass and all the plastic and take apart all that, take out all the screws and electrical wire, this is probably like around $20 in scrap. Um, so that might be worth it we'll see uh i also got a bunch of other things that very very nice table that tray which i actually do think might be a picture frame for some reason someone probably out there knows what that is i it's, it's not coming to me right now it has these lines in it like it's for heating so maybe you put on like I, but i find it very hard to believe that you'd put glass on like a stove it just i don't know it just doesn't seem right um got the nice table some scrap metal I actually have to meet up with a guy probably about two hours to uh, sell that large uh, mirror on Facebook Marketplace. So I put that up there a while ago and we're supposed to be meeting up in about two to three hours. So I'm going to try to unload some of this so when I <laughs> show up, he's not like, uh, did you just find this in the trash? Is like, is it broken? Probably take out some of the scrap metal. Uh, but yeah. Always a blast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this trash picking adventure. If you guys enjoyed it, smack the like button for me. Try to get this video 10,000 likes. I know last time I said, let's get this video 10,000 likes. Came up really, really short. Um, so let's smack the like button. Let's try to get 10,000 likes. Thank you guys for all the support and subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. Catch up with you guys next time for our next adventure. And as always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.